Hey everyone, I want to make a quick video on taking apart a Celestron Power Tank 17. Uh, I've had this thing for a couple of years. Uh, all that comes on is a charging light. I made the mistake of letting it sit for about eight months dead and of course the battery inside of it's dead. Uh, I've tried trickle charging the battery, plugging it up, leaving it on for three days. It just will not hold a charge. So I think I found a local place that sells the battery. So while I'm taking this apart this time, I'm going to make a, a decent video to give everybody a heads up on what to expect. First thing you got to do when you take these apart um, is uh, mind the lights, of course, that are on it. And this light, if you did not know it, comes apart very easily. <laughs> and actually, it pops out of the casing uh, and it has like a little wire that you can use this magnet to mount on your car. So if you were like me and didn't read the instructions on this thing, don't forget this thing pulls out and you have a red light that can pull away from this to use when you're using your telescope. You don't just have a, a light that points straight out. But anyway, to get to the point, you want to get those out of the way and you'll have to take this light off. Um, and I'm going to need those channel locks. Uh, to get this off, you have to hold the nut on one side while loosening the screw on the other. And luckily, I didn't tighten it too much. So I'm able to get this out just by hand. Probably should have tightened it better the last time. The main thing you want to keep in mind while you're taking this apart is there are wires that go from one side of the panels to the other. So when you start to pull this thing apart, don't yank any wires and break them. Uh, you also have switches that I learned, of course, that are on top of it. You have to make sure they're in position when you piece it back together also. So the first thing you want to do is, of course, take all the screws out that are on this back side. Every screw hole that's in it, you take off. And of course, the screw that was holding the main light in was this. Be careful of, is it still on? Yeah. Inside of the light itself, there's a little slot that you pull this up on. These little pieces will fall out and they're annoying trying to put them back in. So now once I've gotten all these screws loose, of course, just pulls apart and as I mentioned there are wires that go to these terminals and such that stay connected so don't pull those loose and here you see inside of this unit I'm just going to try to get this out of the way so I can get to these two terminals And of course, <clears throat> this is the battery, 12 volt, 17 amp hour power tank battery. I think I found a place locally that sells them. So I'm going to go and get them. All right. So I did go to a store, as I mentioned. Um, 
this was the factory battery that came out and this is the replacement that I found locally uh, it was a little bit more uh, I mean you can order the batteries on Amazon or from manufacturers it looks like online they're about 35 to 45 uh, US dollars and I guess to buy them locally have them in stock the, the stores got to make their profit so this was a little bit more um, I paid actually about $85 for this battery but the original was 12 volts 17 amps amp hours and this one is 20 amp hours so I'm actually getting an upgrade by doing this three extra hours roughly of battery life uh, if you did not know it about these batteries if you didn't read the instructions of course if you let these batteries die they are dead uh, that's that's what happened to mine is uh, I thought it would hold a charge didn't think about it and of course it died so uh, don't be a beginner newbie like me in the astronomy and go out and spend hundred and twenty something dollars on a plastic radio with USB ports just to let the battery inside of it die which is the most expensive component inside of this thing pretty much but um, there is an upgrade so there is a perk to it all so now I'm just going to place the new battery I better get my arms right so I don't break nothing place the new battery inside and I'm already hiding wires so let me get these out of the way first and I'll give you guys a, a look inside one of the reasons I made this video is because I was intimidated on taking it apart. I figured it was proprietary stuff and it was a waste of time even messing with it. And I was about to order a factory direct replacement battery. Uh, on the inside, there's the speaker to the radio. And of course, your positives and negatives to your terminals here. And then you got your positives, positive and your negative to the actual power tank. Let me just put back up here. I hope I kept the video in good location there. And let's put the battery back down inside. Actually, before I distract myself again, let's pull these two wires up and out of the way so the battery doesn't land on top of them. And it's a perfect fit. So, first things first is to reattach the power terminals. All right, now you want to make sure that your, your plug-in for your charger is seated correctly. And the button and the switch on the top of the handle are seated correctly as the button did fly out. And it's back in place. So next, all the screws should be in their holes. Make sure the lines back up here. Make 
Got to make sure that wire runs out of that gap correctly. And that this is in its proper place. Top snapped in. The bottom snapped in. All right. So we should be able to tighten everything back up. All right, we're gonna wind up the excess wire, cap that off. Stick you back inside. And then spin, lock you back in place. And as I mentioned earlier, on the very front edge of this, there's two slots. You just got to make sure that your wire goes back into its place and that these go into their channels. I try to do it without pulling them out, like that one keeps wanting to do. I think this was the most annoying part of trying to work on this. These are the pieces that keep popping out. When it goes, it goes, but... While you're trying to do it, it just doesn't want to go. Might help to turn it around facing me instead of trying to work from over the top. There we go. And once it's back in place, slide your bolt through. And thread it back tight. Last time I'd forgotten to snug this up. So, even though it's plastic, let me just grab on and tighten this back up good. Loosen it a hair. Yeah, there we go. It's good to see a fully charged light now. And the cover plate. Get this put in place first. Lay it down.
There we go. And tighten them down. And now we're just going to check everything. Of course, it is now lighting up fully charged. Goodness. Radio works, obviously. The light works. And the red light works. So, it is ready to use. And that's how you replace the battery in the Celestron Power Tank 17. It's actually how you upgrade the battery into it to get an extra three more hours. So with that said, I hope this video helps you guys. Don't be intimidated by doing this. Um, and again, hope you get some good photography shots out there. Enjoy the skies.